They say that every 7 to 10 years, all the cells in your body regenerate, so you're technically no longer the same person you were at the start of the decade. Have a look at this. This funny looking fellow here is me, 10 years ago. And now that guy is gone! Welcome to my top 100 games of the decade. I'm going to be releasing a new video every day throughout December. From today until December 30th, it'll be free entries a day, and then on New Year's Eve, we'll have the top 10 in their own video. It's exciting, right? Let's establish some ground rules. This is my list, my personal 100 picked games of the decade, and I'm very sorry I haven't played absolutely every game as much as I've wanted to find time to play some of them. If a HD collection doesn't add anything new besides graphics and trophies, it's not allowed, so I'm very sorry PS2 Classic Trilogies. Also, Minecraft was actually released as early access on the 17th of May 2009, despite the Wikipedia page stating 18th of November 2011, so that will not be on the list. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Aversion is a 2010 indie darling that takes your expectations of what a cutesy 2D platformer is and completely derails those expectations in the best way. There are little shift points, and those points change the world drastically. Once you get into Zone 4, things start to decay, plants become hazardous, then Zone 5 or higher hits and then... Oh, fuck this, I'm out of here! Terrifying grabby hands, black void of death, bad ending where the princess devours my cock- Wait, no, sorry, that I got mixed up with my two jobs. With YouTube's illegal actions forcing Copper to destroy YouTube careers, I need a new sustainable job and figured porn writer would go well. I can bang a couple scenarios out quite easily as it turns out. What's this? A horror game? But you're a coward who hates horror, Teal. Why is this on the list? Well, yeah, you're right, but Nintendo back in 2015 were very generous and offered me a review copy, so I did a playthrough for Halloween with my good friend Dino, and we had a blast. I mean, yeah, I got scared, but I was really invested in the story, I enjoyed what the Wii U did with the controls, and it was an interesting experience. Now, I don't plan on doing any other horror games anytime soon, but I'm never saying never? I'm gonna regret saying that, aren't I? Anyway, here's a couple funny moments from the playthrough. Gonna be here at some point. Whose room are you kidding? Fucking Christ! <laughs> I knew it. I knew something like that was gonna happen. Yeah, no, I am joking. That's all. Fuck you, game. There's nothing here for you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my all right. <laughs> sure. That all right. Is... Frickin' hell! Oh Jesus! This is about to be a massive segue. But what's your favorite part about Halloween? <laughs> 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 In medieval times, randomly generated hellscapes spawn and make your life a living hell as it fucks you sideways. Maybe I'm not so good at this porn writing thing. Anyway, Cloudberry Kingdom is a 2D platformer with randomly spawning rooms, which are always possible, even if they seem impossible. I swear this bullshit is possible, but look at this crap, it is insane! But that is the appeal. It does get insane, but when you win, oh wow, it feels good! I urge you to give this game a shot. If you enjoy a masochistic time, this will be right up your alley. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around. I also have a Twitch, a Twitter and a Patreon if you would like to support me and the channel. So tell me, what games did you enjoy from this past decade? Maybe don't list them all, maybe list one a day or so, because I'm going to be listing a hundred of them and it's gonna be a big project. As I said, there's gonna be a new video every single day throughout this month, so definitely subscribe, click that notification bell, and you will get notified when I upload more of these, and I'm sure I'll be streaming and stuff and whatnot. But uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed the series. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>